Hi, my friends. This is Corey. Welcome to the Diamond Painting Effect with Corey. Today, I have a completion of a diamond painting. So this is exciting. I don't have so many of those these days. Uh, but this was for my garden for Diamond Grandma's event that she did in the month of April. Um, I came really close to finishing it in the month of April, but I didn't quite finish it. Uh, then I had back trouble and um, put it to the side and I finally finished it today. So I wanted to get the video up quick. Um, this was a Leisure Arts Diamond Art Kit that I got from Hobby Lobby. I got it for 40% off in April. I paid $17.99 and it originally cost $29.99. It has 30 colors. It is a partial diamond painting. And so it, I, it's probably hard for y'all to see. I'll bring it up close. You can see the top part there is printed. And it's from the wheelbarrow down that is actual diamonds. So that is uh, that. There were, there were 30 colors. I enjoyed working on this. There weren't any any there weren't any major problems. I did have some problems that I was surprised about, and that was the drills. The drills had um, they were stuck together. Some like they never got separated as they came off the assembly line, and a lot of them had tags on them. I was really surprised because this is a diamond dot kit. I've I've never seen that in a diamond dot kit, um, but. Um, and some of them had static and they were stuck back to back. But there were so many other drills, plenty of other drills that I didn't have to worry about even weaving those out. I just worked around them. As you can see, one of my boxes popped open, but there there are plenty of drills there that were left. I This is the first time I've worked from this kit, this kind of uh, container. And I really like this because it there were some colors that there weren't quite enough to fit into the small one that I usually like to use. Just the little one that has four across. I have 28 in the box. And since this one had 30 colors, I already had too many colors to use that with. And some of the colors, the purple, there was a lot. So I went to this and I liked it. Um, the drawback with this is I need to find a way to keep them more stable so they don't move around a lot. But um, that's just a pet peeve. So I think it turned out pretty. Uh, I wish I could have finished it in April, but I'm excited that it's finished now. And I want to thank you for joining me for the Diamond Painting Effect with Corey. Take care, and I'll see you again in the next one.